Let me begin by reiterating what I have said from day one of this campaign, and that is that Donald Trump is the most dangerous president in the modern history of our country, and he must be defeated. Tragically, we have a president today who is a pathological liar and who is running a corrupt administration. He clearly does not understand the Constitution of the United States and thinks that he is a president who is above the law. In my view, he is a racist, a sexist, a homophobe, a xenophobe, and a religious bigot. And he must be defeated, and I will do everything in my power to make that happen. While we are currently losing the delegate count, approximately 800 delegates for Joe Biden and 660 for us, we are strongly winning in two enormously important areas which will determine the future of our country. The American people know, unlike Donald Trump, that climate change is an existential threat to our country and the planet, and that we need to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. And the American people also know that we need fundamental transformation of a broken and racist criminal justice system, as well as a cruel immigration system that keeps millions of people living in fear. While Joe Biden continues to do very well with older Americans, especially those people over 65, our campaign continues to win the vast majority of the votes of younger people. Today, I say to the Democratic establishment, in order to win in the future, you need to win the voters who represent the future of our country, and you must speak to the issues of concern to them. While our campaign has won the ideological debate, we are losing the debate over electability. I very much look forward to the debate in Arizona with my friend Joe Biden. So let me conclude the way I began. Donald Trump must be defeated and I will do everything in my power to make that happen. Thank you all very much. He's fighting for the future of this country. We don't have the time. Scientists say we do not have the time for status quo, for calm. That means people can't, you know, maybe people want to sit at brunch and enjoy their mimosas, no, 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 but the no, reality no. is there's children in cages at the border. No, I, I hear what you're saying, but the, the current crisis right now is that we have now burst above a thousand cases of confirmed coronavirus in this country. And we're in this together, politics aside.